Hey guys, welcome to part 4. Uh, we've still been doing some modeling and as you can see I'm rendering part 2. I've been having some render issues where in Camtasia Studio uh, my video or sound doesn't pop up but apparently it still renders. So pff, who knows, we might have a part 2, we might not and I do apologize for that if we don't. But hopefully we do, uh, if luck's on my side. So let's continue with the modeling again. So we as we left off we did the top half so now there's just one thing that I'd like to add which I didn't really do is uh, this here is a cylinder so if I just do that real quick uh, then bring that down like that and move it about there as you can see that's crap so right and bring that back down to its scale that's about right there we go. No wait, hang on, hang on. It's almost done. So yeah, uh, we're still modeling as you can see and it is taking ages to model. But we're just about done with that now. No, what? No we're not. Dan, shut up. God, retard. <laughs> right, so now what we really want to get to is the first part's finished uploading. So that's good I can get uploading part 2 the when I'm giving that I'm done with that when it is done what but yes yeah, so what we're gonna work on next is perhaps we're gonna do this here and I might make this a complete separate object <coughs> sorry for my cough but um yeah so mmm think I will but is that one piece is it larger than that or is it the same it's the same so we can do that nice and easy it's the same size as this so that also means that that part that I said would be individual and awesome might not actually work so bad news uh, this here is where I go pop oh need to loop cut here by pressing K and do that. I'm just really trying to get through this as fast as I can because you guys are probably thinking, God damn it, damn, finish the goddamn gun already. So, you know, whatever. I could probably model this as one thing, actually. I think I will. I'll give it a shot, guys. I'll see, I'll see what I can do. Right, I can't really see what's going on there because of that stupid ass flashlight's in the way. So. Oh, it's just the same. That's good. That's really good. Okay. But is it a complete thing? Yes, it is. Alright, so... I'm going to do this part differently to the others because this is a, quite a noticeable thing here, so... Alright. And just by doing this, I'm just trying to get like a a good effect going here. A good effect. What What effect? Okay. Uh, pop. Should I model this all as off as one piece, or shouldn't I? I think I should. I think it would be better if I did. Right. So now we want this to be like that. I'm a lot less talkative right now. I don't actually know why, so I do apologize. I'm just kind of worrying because if part two doesn't come out the way I want it to, then that's bad. So that's a bit thin. What's going on there? Right, shift C, someone's messaging me on Skype as always. And um, we're just doing this here. This bit here is the part that's going to get tricky, so stay tuned. That's going to be one piece, I'm not going to model the hole in that even though uh, texturing may be slightly more difficult that way but we'll have a look, we'll, we'll see we'll find out and if this is just another one of my fails then the joke's on me so if I just put that up like that and then go wherever this is right that goes straight up like so Right, okay, so if I was to do this, and then go... Now, uh, I will have to merge these, but the thing is... Um, 
then when I come to beveling this when adding the detail that's gonna be a real bitch to get looking good so if I just make this the same size actually I need to quickly do that right <laughs> right and then it went yeah anyway sorry for my terrible pun but I'm not I'm not the most funny person in the world right okay we wanna go YMCA right okay right pop ba -ba 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 -da -ba -ba. right that's that bit there as you can see so now what we really want to get done now is the tricky part so when I say tricky part I mean incredibly easy I am just joking so oh uh, wait mm -mm -mm -mm. It comes out like that so ba -ba 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 -da -ba. right okay there so there and there bring that out like that and extrude oh wait hang on uh, I need to select bases here as opposed to I did this by the way guys by simply going on the face select button down there so alright if I just extrude and then make that out like so about say that far that should be good and then I bring that down to about say there and then I bring those down like so so if I was to just select this then and go there and then bring that down like that because these need to come down as you can see and then whoa hang on we've selected something here that we don't really want to select whoa that's skinny as hell oh that right okay simple mistake guys sorry uh, we just want to quickly uh, bring that in a bit and then bring that out like so and then we do that uh, sorry for that my mistake so then we select these two faces here so it goes down so right view le right right not left right okay so once we do that and then get this thing here and then do wow right that goes there I can't wait to get texture in god seems like years since I textured it has been ages since I textured as well. Hot damn. Right, so then this does that and then it goes down like so. So we want to bring this back here. Right, it's got to be in line with that. And then we bring down like so. So what we want to do is really bring this out. So this is now just editing this, getting it to how we want it to look, kind of. So that is a bit wide, but it is kind of in a way what we want it to be because it is quite a wide thing as you can see here so uh, if I just simply bring these in because they are a bit it is a bit wide uh, I mean mm, yeah a bit wide sorry I gotta get my grammar gra grammar <laughs> I gotta get my grammar working again today right okay so that's that part of it done as you can see uh, I might just spin a roo this a bit and put that in just to give my own. No, I won't. Uh, right, okay, that's that's that. So now the inside of that gun looks wrong. How am I going to fix this? I know, f actually finish modeling certain parts of it. Okay, so now this bit here. No, this bit here. Yep, uh, actually comes down like so. Oh, that's another cool thing I can do here, so I'll do that in a minute. Uh, if I just bring that down like so, and then bring this out here, and then bring this down to here. Right, okay. Uh, I don't know what this has accomplished. It accomplished just that, okay. <laughs> yeah, we don't, we, we don't, we can have a bit of no clipping, guys. We can cheat a little, so. 
So if I just do this, loop, I'm loop cutting here for those of you that don't really know. Right, okay, so that I don't loop cut there, but I loop cut here. And then I loop cut here. And then I loop cut here. Right, and then I go to the face select, and I'm just going to select all of these here. In fact, I'm going to make this that little bit higher detailed, I think, because that just looks blocky. Because it is a block, but you know, you get what I mean, kind of, anyway. Ah, right, okay. So I obviously need to go here and just simply do this. So it's less blocky, as they call it. As I call it, rather. And then simply do this. And then we do this. So now, as you can see, it's a lot better. So if I just do this. Delete faces. You have to delete faces. You don't want to delete anything else, I can tell you that. So now we go into edit mode and we select edge select. And we right click both of these and we just click F for fill. Philip. Fill for the F word. Yeah. So we just keep doing that all the way around until we get it completely done here. So I'm just going to quickly do this. I wonder how many minutes this has been. I'd say about five minutes maybe maybe six minutes oh 11 wow my timing is awful but as you can see we're just about done with this we just got to do the clip and we're, we're finished so we're good to go for other things oh yeah and I have to do the uh, the sights and everything as well which is really fun to do and the trigger wow I'm forgetting everything here so I'm just gonna quickly do the trigger by using the allocated things that I told you to use so for the trigger the trigger is quite boring uh, but if it if it's rushed, then people will know that it's rushed. You, it's something you really have to take your time on. But of course, I'm not going to take my time on it because I'm doing a tutorial. I have to try and save as much time as possible because I've wasted loads. So if I just do that, I'm just loop cutting here just to get the effect. I don't need an effect. I'm not in Unity yet, so I don't have to apply effects. But you get what I'm trying to say here. Well, I should hope you get what I'm trying to say. Otherwise, my tutorials are crap. And if they were crap, I would cry. Boo-hoo. So, now having that done, we bring that in like so. Bring it in a little bit more. Right, that's that part done. And now we need to do this little thing by here, which is pretty interesting. So, if I just keep doing the same tools that we've used in the past. Uh, right, this is quite skinny, isn't it? Yes, it is. And it's quite thick as well, so that sounds really wrong. If I press Z or Z, depending where you're from. Alright, okay, and then we scale that up. Uh, Shift and C to realign that. Okay, so now this was done a certain way. So I'm just going to do it this way. So I'm just really guessing here. Yeah, that is really guessed, but you get the idea of what I'm trying to go for. Oh wow, that's good guessing. That's really good guessing. So that's that part there now done. So we've gotten that. I really don't know what that is. If anyone knows what that is, please tell me. I want to know what goes there because I don't feel happy with that being just a blank Oh, right, okay, so that just connects all of that together as if it were a, th a 3D model. I just opened Skype. Oh, no, now you've seen all my top secret stuff that I work on. Just joking. Okay, uh, so what we want to do here, we want to just do this. Uh, this is really, with modeling, you really have to learn the ropes. You have to know how everything's made and things like that. It can be really tricky at times, but you'll you'll get used to it as I have. It took me ages to get used to it. I should hope it doesn't take you all as long. So we want to put that just inside there like that. And then move these pieces by here out. Oh wait, I've selected a vertice there that I didn't want to select. So now that we've done that and corrected it. We just move that in there. Right, that's... Oh wait, if I just control Z so I can select these and deselect those bring that back in here right that 